the top of the Razer Siren lineup, we have the Siren V2 Pro, which is definitely the most feature packed and also hopefully best sounding as well. So stick around as we take a closer look at the V2 Pro and put it to the test so you guys can decide whether it's gonna be right for you. In the box, you get your microphone attached to a section of the base already, then the base plate itself, a USB-C to USB-A cable, then finally just some product info. The Siren V2 Pro has an all metal construction on both the microphone itself and that base in comparison to its predecessors, which were primarily plastic definitely does feel more high quality in hand which is appreciated the stand is also different in that fact that it's actually fixed on both the right and left by a screw on either side which allows you only to tilt it forward or back with no left to right tilt on it but with the siren v2 pro being the type of microphone it is a dynamic microphone unlike the mini and v2x as the best place to talk into it is actually going to be on the top so you generally always just want to have it tilted with that top of the microphone towards your mouth although if you're able as i always recommend with these microphones, it would be best to get it up into a boom arm so it's closer to your mouth and you get the best sound quality. You get quite a bit of control available to you on the Siren Pro with your mic mute or unmute button on the front top, which also lights up either green or red to let you know your status on that. Well, that though, you have your volume knob, which allows you to adjust your monitoring volume. So whatever you're listening to through on the back of it. Then finally, the lowest knob on the front is for your microphone gain adjustment. On that backside, like I just mentioned, you do have that headphone jack for mic monitoring. It is a 3.5 millimeter port, along with the USB-C port down below that on the back, which is great to see. But the included USB-C cable has that specific shape that makes it line up with the body and hold extremely firmly in place on the microphone, but still other USB-C cables can still work the microphone. But the nice thing about that included one, again, is just the fact that it fits so perfectly in there and it holds to the shape of it nicely. You can attach the V2 Pro to a boom arm either directly on the bottom of the mic, which has a little plastic plug you can pull out, or on the bottom of the stand itself, which is what I'd recommend doing if you do plan on putting on a boom arm as it just frees up a little bit more movement for you with the microphone itself. But the threads are five eighths of an inch, but further down on the bottom of the stand, it looks like it's actually one fourth of an inch in there um, as well. So if you do have those sizes, but I'll link to some boom arms that do already work with it right out of the box if you guys are interested in the description down below. That's enough talking about the mic. Let's go ahead and see how it sounds. All right, guys, we're over in the office now. I'm speaking right into the Siren V2 Pro and all the audio you're hearing right now is being recorded straight over into my computer through OBS. I'm not changing anything here in the pre-production nor in the post-production either. So what you hear is going to be what you get when you pull it right out of the box. So you guys can make the best judgment call on how you like the sound of it and whether it's going to work for you. The Siren V2 Pro is a dynamic microphone, like I mentioned earlier, which is basically just using a different method for actually picking your voice up in comparison to something like a condenser microphone, which the Siren Mini and Siren V2X are. So when speaking to the Siren Pro, you actually want to talk into the very top of the microphone for the best quality, which you can kind of see clearly demonstrated as when I tilt it up or I spin it around in Instantly my voice gets a lot quieter, a lot more muffled, but when I move it towards me and tilt it back, it's when you get the most clarity and the best sounding quality for your voice. So if you do have it down on your desk, of course, make sure it is gonna be tilted down and towards your mouth. But as always, I do recommend if you are able to try to get up into a boom arm, it's gonna give you the best sound quality overall. If you are gonna be using this on your desk though, it does come with a built-in shock mount, just like the Siren Mini and V2X, which is just there to help reduce those things like vibrations. If you accidentally bump into the desk or while typing. And I can kind of demonstrate this for you right now by actually tapping on the desk. Say if you bump into it while you're using the microphone, this will give you guys a good idea of what it actually sounds like when it's trying to eliminate those vibrations. And you can definitely tell a stark contrast if you use a mic that doesn't have a good shock mount system like the HyperX Solocast, which if I was doing this, it would pick up so much of that noise in the microphone. But Razer does a really nice job with their shock mounts, their built-in ones. And as you can tell, there's not many vibrations coming up and through the microphone, even when I'm putting a lot of bumping around on the desk itself. Here's a quick keyboard test for you guys as well. If you are going to have this on your desk, this will give you a good idea how it's going to be picking up key chatter along with those vibrations. So I'll just be typing in the background here on the keyboard. So if you are maybe streaming or you're recording content where you're going to have a keyboard in the background with the microphone near it. This will give you an idea of what it's going to sound like. I think it does a great job of reducing that key chatter, especially when the pickup is coming through the front here. It gets it further away from the keyboard. I would definitely recommend if you are going to be having a keyboard near it, put it in front of the keyboard, not behind it or to the side so it isolates your voice even better. But it's a good idea of what it sounds like. It does a good job reducing those vibrations and that key chatter overall. All right, we now have the Siren V2 Pro up in the boom arm. This will give you guys a good idea of what to expect if you are planning to use it 
in this way of the bar, which again is definitely the way I recommend to use the microphone. Just gets it way closer to your mouth and gives you a better and more consistent sound in my opinion. And I'll give you guys some links also in the description down below to some good boom arm options to actually pair with the Zion V2 Pro itself. So check those out down below if you are interested. I also wanna take a second to talk about the software options. And there is a few ones, but you don't really have to hop into the software all. Again, you have a lot of those controls already available to you on the microphone itself. But if you wanna hop into the software, you have just the mic section on the first part, which gives you the option of adjusting that volume and gain, just like you do on the microphone right there, as well as muting if you wanna use it versus just tapping on the microphone itself. But some of the cool ones you get here is you get a high pass filter along with that analog gain limiter, which those come automatically on when you already have the microphone. So unless you want to turn them off, you don't really have to hop into the software either. But also they do have the stream mixer side, which I have not even dove into much at all, but this is gonna be more useful for those of you that are actually wanting to use it to that capacity for streaming itself. But in there, you do get some more options for balancing different inputs and outputs in there. So definitely a little bit confusing for your average user probably not gonna be diving into this, but for you guys that maybe can benefit from it, it is available. So cool to have it there, but most of us are never gonna dive the software in the first place. You got all those controls right in the microphone. Siren V2 Pro comes in at $150, which puts it in line with some of the other options on the market, like the HyperX Quadcast, Blue Yeti, Elgato Wave 3. I wouldn't say that it does anything in specific itself to beat out those other options or competition, but it is definitely just a good plug and play microphone option that as you guys can hear yourselves, gives a pretty nice, rich and clear sound to your voice and it also looks pretty clean and minimal for a razor product i will say which i do appreciate as well but one of the main things to consider now is whether it's going to be worth it maybe over the price point of something like the siren v2x or even mini at this point and i'll be releasing my video soon comparing that whole siren lineup so make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for that one and check out some of these other microphone options on the screen now